Welcome to May Movie Madness. It is Cinco de Mayo, or May 5th, and I am M. Scott Anderson. Today, since it's Cinco de Mayo, I decided I would do um, Pan's Labyrinth. Um, um, I did this, I decided this because it's the only Spanish-speaking film I own, I think. I think this is the only one that speaks Spanish. Well, I mean, a lot of them speak Spanish through dubbing, but this is the only one that's actually from a Spanish-speaking country, even though I think it's Spain, which is kind of weird because Mexico's holidays, Cinco de Mayo, not Spain's. But anyway, so um, Pan's Labyrinth is a really good movie. It's this really... <sighs> it's not a children's story at all. Do not see, let children watch this. It is very gory, um, but it's also very interesting. It's, 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 r it's really... It's a little scary at times. There's this um, really creepy monster on the back of the. Um, see him? You see him? Bring back. Bring back. Yeah. He has hands. He has eyes in his hand. Um, he's really creepy. Um, and this, I think, is Pan. Uh, but I don't. I think so. He's a fawn. Pan was fawn. Um, in mythology. So anyway, so this is a really good movie. It's kind of a little bit. It's. You think it's going to be a fantasy movie, and it turns out that it's much more not as fantasy as you think it's going to be. Like, you think it's going to be like Alice in Wonderland, but it's really not at all. Um, although, it's really, it's really good. It's really good. You should watch it. Um, there's this one part where um, something really gory happens. Um, just warning you. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Sorry. Um, but it's <laughs> disgusting. Anyway, um, but it's not like it's, it, it's like two minutes of the film. You're like, oh, and then you quickly get over it. But, um, or maybe you don't. Maybe you're one of those weird people that can't get over things. But, um, so Pan's Labyrinth today, Cinco de Mayo. Drink some tequila, watch Pan's Labyrinth. Um, do it. Bye.